Hello, welcome back. When I loaded the game, May was still sleeping. <laughs> uh, the last time I uh, smashed light bulbs with Greg and then put on a super horrible Harfest play that I completely bombed in every possible way, <laughs> which was kind of fun. Uh, right, I saw all this journal stuff before. That seems to be the hole. That's I'd. People are saying... Why did that fade in? Haven't I looked at this before? No, I never looked at this page. Maybe I did. Okay, anyway. Uh, people were saying this was Lori M's little metal dude. That makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking. I didn't realize that was when, yeah, with the arrow, it turned all s squishy. <laughs> okay, so that's probably what that is. Anyway, cool. So, right, part three started. Uh, May has witnessed an abduction and is now on the trail of the murder cult, kind of. Hey, May, thanks so much for your help last night. Woke up and realized that I completely imposed in a big way. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll be at work cleaning up after last night if you want to say hello. Hey, dude, sorry couldn't hang last night. Angus says he's sorry too. Bad practice today, because I'm in charge and I say so. Off to work, bye. Oh boy, I'm gonna get to play Pumpkinhead Guy. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing. I did some practice. As in, had my controller in my hand when I was reviewing that, uh, and tried to sort of play along. So hopefully I won't be completely hopeless at it, but... I strongly suspect that's going to take me a few attempts. Now that I've watched TV with Dad a couple of times, are these moved? No. Gotta watch it again. Working clock downstairs, thinks this clock is scary. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Seeing these things, making weird noises at night. What's she say to the bird, though? You're just, like, the same every day? What is your bird existence like? <laughs> For some reason, I just really enjoy her talking to the bird. <laughs> hey, hun. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Can I not? I can't not. Nope, I have to have this fight with Mom. Because, yeah, we get into a huge fight here, don't we? Hey, hun. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you, so this is where May starts having her uh, medical issues. Something is seriously wrong with her. And this is the first time she men mentions stuff like headaches. Could go for that. Gray and Drizzly. Hey, hun. Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. Me too. I said some stuff. Wait, no, it was yesterday we had the fight. Oh, okay, I forgot. <laughs> I lost track of which day is which. Again, this is very confusing because I'm watching my old playthrough and doing the new one and other stuff. Anyway, saw some weird stuff last night. Think I did. Want to talk about it? Putting it together. Mm -hmm. Also talk about school later. Okay. What are you stressed about? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. Wait, didn't that speech balloon asking what you're stressed about, about come out of her? It was supposed to be May speaking, but I thought I saw the tail pointed. Well, video will tell me if I saw right or not. After your incident a few years back, right. Debt went through a bad, like, double mortgage or something. Kind of mortgage, make sure you're taken care of. Not a good deal. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now they own the house, and we owe them more than it's worth. Not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Okay, it's just that when the tail goes to the corner of the balloon like that, it kind of is mostly overwritten by it. <laughs> like, I can just barely see the little, the little corner of it pointing at May. That's like a weirdly unpolished bit of this game. Like, it seems like they would have fixed that. What you reading? Book of Unsolvable Murders. They all happen? Don't know, maybe sure. Uh, yes, I still want to say yes to this. Man lying dead in the kitchen, bullet wound in his hand. There's a man there with him with some blood in his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if there's one answer. It's supposed to get you thinking. Uh, about murder? Can't solve a murder without one. Can't solve a murder without a murder? Is that what you're saying? I guess. <laughs> okay, so I have a question. Uh, I chose this. Um, let's go with what else is in the room. Normal stuff. Refrigerator, microwave, silverware. Knives. No knife wounds, though. Oh, right. Okay, I think I got it. Wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. Right, this is the same as her guess before. 
Super magnet. That's why he has blood in his hands. <laughs> uh -huh. Detective agency could use one right now. Mm hmm. Cool. Oh, hey, I got a new thing. <laughs> Dead person bleeding on the floor. Wonderful. Well, that seems like something they would draw. <laughs> she is a disturbed individual. Uh, Selmers is who I want to talk to. Although this is open now, isn't it? Construction's done? No, not until tomorrow. I keep thinking it's done and it's not done. Is it even tomorrow? I think it's tomorrow. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Selmers. How's it going, Selmers? That was your Halloween. Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. <laughs> she doesn't care. Halloween episodes are on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Sure, why not? Autumn winds, autumn sins, okay. Autumn times, autumn crimes. Uh, right, I did want to keep that. Um, what counts as an autumn sin? Cheating on your wife with some gas station skank in November. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, inconsiderate. <laughs> hey, Mr. Chazikov. Yes, Selma? You're going to break your neck someday. I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target. <laughs> I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. <laughs> you too. <laughs> They're pretty great. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Is that a poem? Nope. <laughs> there are a lot of leaves around here. Mrs. Varnish, this porch herself. Don't go tracking mud all over it. I didn't remember that line. Maybe I hadn't seen it. Maybe it's new. All right, so stargazing. Let's do that. Ms. Maybarowski, present. Hmm, smell the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Talking of, want to see some more stars? Yeah. Come have a look. Ah, I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. So I kind of recorded which direction the star was. I want to see if I can go to the other one. If I go away from where that was... Yeah, I can instead go for... Okay, so it's not a fixed order. Star located, Captain. Let us consult the guide. So this is going to be... Uh, Tear in the medium. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy the medium. Oh, interesting. Okay, so there was a mismatch. When I looked in my journal after I saw this, it said Gramercy, but the, the dialogue all said Tern the medium. So that was the name they went with, Gramercy. Okay. In life, he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait, that's dumb. How so? Uh, what did I choose? That's just called being alive. Not so, his body was dead. So he was like a zombie? But just as smart as before. No looking for brains. <laughs> so like normal, but he smelled bad. Just so. <laughs> Why did they make this guy into a star? I have no idea. I guess it's kind of impressive. Dumb, but impressive. So what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Sometimes things are just strange. That's the moral? <laughs> All right, where's this spot? Over here, it's you. Found one, let's see, big snake. Big snake, yep. Uh, anything else? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? You know, villages, okay. And he wraps himself around them. Villagers saw they were encircled by the same big snake. And they came together and together slew the big snake. <laughs> you learn. Why did big snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? Geez, I don't know, but can we just see, keep saying big snake? Big snake. Big snake. Big snake. <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Okay. <laughs> Willikers. Why is, why is that a thing? All right. More in a couple of days. So how many stars are there? <laughs> what? 
I mean the ones we're looking for. Should be a few left, but who can say? We can only point our telescopes and look. I want to say there's enough time in the game for two more of these. There's like four more days before the end, something like that. Gramercy. Big snake. Okay. Somewhere around there. Okay, time to go prowling. Alright, Loriam has things to say, I think. Did you go to Harfest? Yeah. Uh, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. <laughs> cool. I ate pizza and watched, watched Blood Gorgon. Uh, I chose... Where is my thing? I chose that. Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's like theatrical and stuff. <laughs> Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the... To the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost or something last night. Uh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome? It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I'll see you later. Good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. Oh wait, she has... Oh wait, no, she's just gonna say skull. Yep, that's what she does. Does B have anything to say? Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Tell you later, I guess. Still, like, putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. I will. I think it's band practice day? Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. Yeah, seriously. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. <laughs> oh ho, so today's my last day. I was wondering when Telesoft would come up again. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happened so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two to fend for yourselves. Oh dear, what are we gonna do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in, and we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Okay, cool. So, Wolf got a job at the Ham Panther. Very nice. It's nice that there's that little subplot going on. Would Miss Rosa happen to be down here today? Or Fisherman Jones? No Fisherman jo Jones. I'm still opting not to feed the rats. I looked up there, there are still three. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. Wow, seriously? That's not a good system. For company goods. Back in school, they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk, or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, <laughs> and he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow! Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop! He pees through the windshield hole. <laughs> this is amazing! Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley, past the AOK -OK drugstore. That's still here. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he...? So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches, snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't, I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Hmm. Now why would I do that? No. Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. <laughs> you may find someday it isn't so strange. 
I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. <laughs> I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. <laughs> okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. She does some sort of weird, like, doublespeak thing where she acts like she knows more about what's going on than May does. I'm wondering if there is something going more going on or if she's just being mysterious for the sake of being mysterious. It's hard to tell. Do these have anything to say at all? Hey, uh, kind of a weird question, but oh right, she asks about the missing kid. Is anyone missing? What? Like anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Right, so here's a kind of weird plot point. Like the, um, <laughs> they don't appreciate being called safe. The, uh, the kid who got kidnapped is not like somebody who's missing. Molly will tell me more about this if I go, um, go that way. I want to go this way first. Uh, oh yeah, possibilities. Someone moving in, maybe. I miss you, pizza place. Uh, go see Angus. Nothing over here. Okay. Um, yeah, so the, the abducted person is just like, doesn't exist? I don't understand how that works. Or does that, um, does that come up later in the story? I don't feel like it does. Right, she's going to tell everybody at band practice about what she saw. Okay. Out to the food donkey area. Germ is there. I can talk to him. Molly will be there. I can talk to her about what I saw. And then to Greg for band practice. Cool. Let's read the newspaper in the way that May reads the newspaper. What's in the news? Dumb girl slips off ledge, dies in street below. <laughs> area cranky man haunted by screaming poltergeist. Soggy corpse hardly recognizable, identified by teeth. Area man dies of heart attack from being scared by hooting and hollering phantom. phantom. Evidence shows girl was pushed. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> he does not appreciate me looking into his window all the time, I guess. That was pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it, though. Why would I stop? Okay, so germs out here. Uh, Greg's in there. I'll get to him eventually. Hey, Danny. Hey, dude. Hey, you. Working here now? Yep. Sucks, but it pays. So, I guess he doesn't work at the, um, uh, old pickaxe anymore? May should ask me about this, but she probably, she never does as far as I know. Actually, I should, I could try going back there and talking to B and see if that does anything. Hey, sup kid? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah. Oh, weird, that makes you half cop. Oh, I should have talked to her first and then germ, because that would have changed this. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know what they're doing up there. Huh. You good at Harvest? Nah, over it. Cool. I had kind of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Uh, no crusties here. Not good friends. Uh, Casey. Right. I could ask. I used to ask. Casey's tough. He'll be fine. So, like, Germ and Casey and May, Greg, B, and Angus were, like, all a, a friend group back when May was here, I guess. Black metal, which dagger, uh-huh. I get a choice in here somewhere, sometime. One time a guy followed me home from the tracks. Uh... <laughs> so if I don't want to hear his story, I would do this? Uh, I get more choices if I do that, I'm guessing. I'm not going to just cut him off after that. He wants to tell me a story. What did you do? It was some night back in the summer. And out of the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But, like, I didn't want to look right at him. Ah! <laughs> okay, those two choices are the same thing. I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but, like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Uh, oh my god. What did you do? <laughs> Again, those are the same thing, basically. After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. 
Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. <laughs> I am so upset right now. I know, right? See ya. <laughs> Good old germ. Okay, on third playthrough, I should talk to Molly first, then germ. What were you doing out here last night? Uh, choice. What were you doing out here last night? Vagrants, reports of. That's why all this. Might have just been someone saw you out here. Your turn. I saw a kidnapping. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right, thank you, May. I knew you were just going to brush this off. No missing person reports. Yeah, no missing person reports. Tends to happen when a kid goes missing from something like Harfest. So who was this kid who got kidnapped? I'm reporting. This is a report. No break in the fence. Any theories? No. I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit and people scared of cold lines and noises. <laughs> Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Ah, <laughs> oh, May. Yes, we're in a movie now. Mm-hmm. Right. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old mine, we found a couple teenagers on a gross mattress, saw some worried-looking deer, and one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. <laughs> right. The cop always dies. <laughs> she really has it in for, for Molly. Is the car gone? Yeah, she drove away, so Germ would have said something different. Oh well, that's something for a third playthrough, I guess. Okay, Snack Falcon. Oh boy, it's time for a real challenge. What's up, dude? Uh, ugh. Long night, weird night. What's up? Tell you at bad practice. Uh, just saying hello. I haven't chosen this option before. Hello! <laughs> what you up to? Uh, let's head out to bad practice. Okay. So here we go. Get those fingers loose. Back to watch this fiasco again. Uh-huh. You're, only, you're our only fan, just here to be entertained. Uh-huh. Ready to play? Yes. Who commits Greg? Okay. Hey, Angus, what's up? People outside my window are being extremely noisy. Whoa, 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 Demon Tower. He mentioned Demon Tower. I was skipping through. I didn't see it. What do you think? I don't know yet. Haven't gotten too far. It's good. I like it. Do you like it? I like it. Well, all right then. Okay, so they talked Demon Tower. Well, shoot, I if I had known that, I would have uh, played through it. Well, now I know what that happens if I don't. Okay, so I should play through Demon Tower, I guess, just for possible dialogue options. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. <laughs> door at the top of the stairs that goes out under the roof. Now I can, like, I don't know, run from that door down in the lobby, up to the roof, and pee off the side of the building? <laughs> yeah, maybe not. But what's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, be ready. Why is the timing so weird? I know what it's supposed to sound like. And I feel like I'm hitting the buttons at the right time, but it doesn't sound right. Gotta remember, it's way early than, earlier than I think it is. Not that early, though. This isn't the hard part, though. You'll know it when you see it. Here we go. Ah. 
I got some of that. This did not happen last time. Everybody's a skeleton now. What happened? That was weird. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, that was new. Okay, so that might not have been like super awful. Pretty good. Yeah, that was acceptable. That was okay. <laughs> not bad considering I don't know the song. Okay. I'm going to redo that until I get it perfect. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. That's a new one. Neat. Phew. So fast. You just pushed a button. <laughs> I am so tired. I strained my vocal cords yelling. Awesome. I'm going to sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid and also I think was in my head after, while I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something, because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Uh, yeah. I'm not, like, losing it or something. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Nah, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Nah, dudes. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's, like, some ghosty stuff happening around here from a source we can trust, such as newspaper, ghost section... Why is that a dumb question? <laughs> All right, so now we go to the library. Local paper on file, going back a century. I think I can do the library pretty quickly. Let's do it today. Yep. Right. Can we regroup after? Uh, sure. Okay, we'll be back. The library. Yeah, so this wasn't optional. I come here anyway. I get to hear... Uh, Selmer's doing some poetry. And this painted is like, look out the window. <laughs> yep. Pumpkin head guy. Yeah, so this is, that's a different graphic than I got last time. She just drew herself on the ground saying dead <laughs> with like a broken base next to her, I think. <laughs> yeah, so I performed better at it. Not great, but better. Hey! Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish. <laughs> Third floor. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Okay. There's a couple of choices here on the second floor, which for some reason we go to first. Can I go to more than just the first, second, and third floors? Is there a fourth floor? I'm gonna check. I didn't think to check before. Let's see, so nothing on these computers. Those aren't the ones we're after, except I can look at this one. Someone left something open. It's a resume. Bob Targ, 1967, 50 years old. Wait a second. Did that year change? He was 50 years old before, but I thought it was one year earlier, because I remarked this took place in 2006, I think, so now it takes place one year later? Or am I just mistaken about that? <laughs> I'm going to have to check and see if they actually change the year. Does that be interesting? <laughs> May doesn't really know what socialism is, even if she talks like that. Anyway, uh, right, Charity Barity. May's going to get really angry at this. Uh, Charity Barity. What's Charity Barity? How do you not know? I assume this is something from school. No, I hated Charity Barity. Uh, what did I choose here? You were under some curse where a cute thing followed you around 24-7, yelling about, like, sharing and not littering, and paying taxes. <laughs> well, that's an important uh, skill. I was five! I'm 20 now and I still haven't paid taxes. Charity Barity goes to a state infrastructure budgeting meeting. Uh, I forgot about the worst part, it always rhymed. Charity Barity. Oh no, austerity! What's that? <laughs> Reason the two bridges in and out of Saltstown are still closed. Oh wow, you still can't, like, go to Saltstown? You're welcome to try. <laughs> that was new. Sure made a lot of these books. Still making them. Danger everywhere, Eddie. That's vague and disconcerting. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's floor two. Uh, so right, microfiche is up there. 
but can I go to other floors? Let's find out. Actually, what if I went down? There's probably nothing, but I'm going to wander back and see if anything happens. Nothing happened. I walked all the way to the right very, very slowly. Couldn't even talk to the librarian again to confirm where I was going. All right, let's go up. Now, do I get a door prompt here? Can I keep going up? No, this will just take me back down. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, that's fine. Going up. Let's go look at some newspaper. What does it smell like? Dust. It's old up here. Mm -hmm. Yep, ghost or something. Whatever he was, he walked through a chain link fence or flew over it or something. So that's another thing that's never really explained. I mean, I get the idea May just sort of lost sight of him for a while. He went around the fence or whatever. Um, and then somehow saw him on the other side. He realized he was being followed and saw her. <laughs> and now is going to creep on her until, you know, stuff happens. When is my first encounter with him? Well, second encounter, I guess. It'll be at the day nine event? I think so. Okay. <laughs> so, I have no idea how to use it. Really? I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. <laughs> Are we friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this set up. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I want to steer. No. Move, I'm steering. Ow. Jeez, May. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, how do we do this? <laughs> Step three, find ghost. Right, uh, I just kind of have to point at the three that have ghost stuff on them, I think. Possum jump. I stopped and read through all these clippings, and there wasn't anything, like, super interesting here. Historical society. I assume it hasn't changed. I'll pan around just super quick. Uh, I guess there was one thing mildly interesting in, um in like top center. Still worth checking out. I'm gonna actually go there this time. I didn't get to before. Strike, underground gases afflict many. Albino groundhog. Here we go. Randolph Stafford, owner of... Uh, no, that's not the one. There's little Joe, sure. There's something about... Oh, here we go. Arnold Applebaum shows up in this. That's the statue outside of B's window. There's a Borowski in here somewhere. Andrew Borowski, I think it is. Where is that? Uh, I don't see it. I need to look at that little Joe thing. Pie piracy. Is it here? I'm just kind of scanning to see it. But I don't see it. Old pickaxe, possum massacre, events. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, little Joe, where are you? Somewhere. Joe Shade. Graveyard, that's a gimme. Right, B wants to go to the graveyard. I might not actually be going there. Which is kind of disappointing because there were more choices with th the three weird teens where I would see them. Um. Oh yeah, we may meet again once, but it is not certain, is something they said. Let's boogie. Also, is that it? Yeah. Three clues. We got three leads. You're a regular detective. So I think... Um, let's see. Going to... What's it? Possum Junk? Yeah, possum Junk. Possum Jump uh, with Angus is non-optional. Uh, don't believe in money. Just believe in other people's cars and money. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, right. But then I get a choice between, is it the graveyard and the historical society? I don't remember how many more choices there are. There's at least that one. Because I know I haven't been to the historical society, and I was. 
at the, the graveyard. Can I go back up? There wasn't a prompt there, so I think the answer is no. Oh, the answer is yes. I guess if I hadn't visited this floor... What if I go look at the microfiche again? I guess I could go and, like, take a second look if I want to read those stories, maybe? Have to try stuff. See if I'm missing anything. Poetry's going on in the first floor. I'll be there momentarily. I cannot look at this again. Okay, good to know. Okay, I also checked the second floor. It was a long walk. <laughs> So there uh, is the Poet Society or whatever. What is... Is that Miss Quelsey? Oh, well, haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School... Yes, you did, May. You saw her last night at Harfest. <laughs> School district did not fund that art program at all, but she made it work. Uh, never realized. Pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. I should be saving that string to repair those bridges into Saltstown. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to the second meeting of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yes. Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma Ann Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. They don't actually pay her in string, right? Yes, May. They literally pay her in string. <laughs> I was just joking. Right. <laughs> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student. The subject of my stories. I tell friends back home when they ask about life out here in the sticks. It's you. I worry at the end of my life you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. I still don't understand poetry like that. Like, it doesn't have a meter, it doesn't rhyme, it's just words with breaks in weird places. I don't understand that. <laughs> uh, that's what I chose, I think. Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that. She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no full names. <laughs> Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Two. Two poems. They're short, though. Two poems. Take it away. Uh, hi, folks. Thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frog swims in the dark. Must think it would be a lark to be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, amphibie? <laughs> that's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. Uh, dude is really worried about what fish think. That tunnel always spooks me. Finally, a poem by Selma Ann Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky, short poems. I'm up for something short and funny. It's not what you're gonna get. This is called There's No Reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> she's not wrong. No reception here. I wave my black phone in the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, babyface boy, billionaire. Phone app sold, made, phone app sold, made more money in one day than my family over 100 generations. More than my whole world ever has. World where house buying jobs become rent paying jobs became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access. Access to politicians. Waiting for us to die. Lead in our water. Alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with an app. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard with a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Force 24-7 entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck and my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. They're in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast and burn their Silicon City to the ground. Holy shit. Wow, damn. Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Thanks, everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks, everyone. See you in two weeks. Hey, Silmers! What? I liked your weird poem. Thanks, I wrote it myself. <laughs> Wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it her? Nice work, Smelmer! I don't like that nickname. What are you two? Sorry. It's cool. Can we go now? 
<laughs> they added punctuation to that. It was not there before. Oh, right, this happens. Thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so find out anything. Yes. Tell him B. Newspaper clippings. Not just any ghost. Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. Ghost Miner. Uh-huh. Filled with dread. Terrified. Three different places. Uh, maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Graveyard. I call that one. Close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? A historical society. Don't have to break in. People get paid. <laughs> Greg's face kind of falls at that mention. <laughs> it's not illegal. He's in for it anyway. You're stuck with Possum Jump, but happy about it. Mm-hmm. That was a nice scene. This is going to be awesome. Also, I'm scared to death. Okay. Cool. Selmer's a good poet. If I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. <laughs> All right. And that's the end of day eight, is it, I think? Except for possible watching TV. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah, let's do that now just to get it out of the way. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The erg. Yeppers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. Oh, there's a choice. Uh, we were, but we talked about it. I just hate to see the two of you on the outs again. It's fine. We're cool. So we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. May, it's fine. It's okay. I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. <laughs> he refuses to talk about it. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good. Been a long couple of days. So I don't get the option to watch TV, but I still have to do it one more time to get those boxes moved, I think, because they have not moved. Or maybe I missed my opportunity because I refused to watch TV with him once. Huh, I wonder. So maybe I just don't get the tooth. I don't know. Okay, anyway, yep, bed. Uh, talk to people on computer first. Maybe I'll play some Demon Tower. Oh, and Pumpkin Head Guy. I need to get better at that. Yeah. All right, so next time I'm going to work on those things and then do day nine activities that I don't know what they are yet. We'll see then. I'll see you.